Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is a weather 2020 video, a YouTube Wednesday afternoon. We actually have a pretty active pattern that is going to be rolling in as we go through. Uh, really, gosh, about the next three weeks, we have a pretty good stretch of quite a bit of weather, which is going to be going on. So we're going to be talking a lot about that. First off, a uh, huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor. They're family-owned, located in Joplin, Missouri at 7th and High Street. Uh, also, a vibe. Herco is out of that same building. Um, they did my roof last year, so a little over a year ago. Uh, if you have roofing needs, I definitely recommend these boys. The number is right there on the screen. All right, so uh, also Weather 2020. If you want some long-range forecasting, you can navigate through the Weather 2020 dot com uh, website uh, there is a product that gives uh, anywhere interactive map anywhere you want across the entire northern hemisphere long range forecastings uh, long range forecast which breaks it down every single day and this is really kind of best for farming agricultural companies even uh, people who want to figure out sports and all that wonderful stuff all right so we have Let's see, a storm system on Friday, which is going to be rain and snow. We also have a bigger storm system, which is going to move in as we go into Monday and Tuesday. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be breaking down these two storm systems, which are going to affect the Central Plains, Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, and also Arkansas. So let's dig in and we'll get through it all here. All right, so partly sunny to mostly sunny skies right now. It looks pretty good across most of the Central Plains. Let's go west. You can see this storm system, uh, Seattle, Portland, San Fran, LA, Las Vegas, moving into Salt Lake City. That's our next storm system. That's the one that's going to affect us on Friday. And then way out here, moving into the Gulf of Alaska soon, see this spin right out in here, so just southwest of Kodiak, Alaska. That is our next system, which will affect us, a much stronger system moving in on Monday and Tuesday. Now, remember, we're in cycle two of the LRC pattern um gary lezak and i and team we've modeled this so each cycle it gets a little bit more accurate um so this fits right we saw these two systems in cycle one now we are in cycle two so uh cycle one we saw these systems in november much weaker versions and now here we are where the jet stream gets stronger and these systems become stronger all right so this afternoon mid 40s Springfield, Joplin, Tulsa 50, Oklahoma City right around 50 degrees. May get a little bit of patchy fog tonight across central parts of Kansas and also south central parts of Missouri. Another cold one, mid-20s. As we go through the daytime hours tomorrow, some mid and upper level clouds increase across the entire four-state area. Temperature is pretty good, still mid-40s to near 50 degrees. Here comes the storm system. Look, the rain increases. Oklahoma City tomorrow night. Switching over to a quick band of snow. Here's 5 a.m. on Friday. So we have snow from Dodge City, moving into Wichita, moving into Tulsa, uh, even down toward Fort Smith, moving into northwestern Arkansas. Now, notice the temperatures. We're sitting mid to upper 30s. So it would really have to come down at a pretty good clip to cause issues on the roadways, but... I mean, I really think most of it's going to be light to moderate snow as we go through Friday morning. But we may get some slushy accumulations, which I'll show you here in just a bit. Let's continue through the morning hours on Friday. Band of snow rotates through northeastern Oklahoma. We have snow in northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, uh, Bentonville, Rogers, uh, Springdale. Snow moving into Joplin. We have snow in Wichita back toward Dodge City moves out of Oklahoma City. The best chances for accumulations is really going to be from Wichita, Dodge City, uh, through the panhandle of Oklahoma and Texas, just due to the temperatures being a little bit cooler. Now, this energy splits as we go through Friday morning. So this comma head here will start to deteriorate as we go through Friday morning, and then most of the energy will kind of shift through central parts of Arkansas. So this band of snow will quickly weaken as we go through Friday morning, but you can still see by the noon hour, some light snow, Springfield, light snow, Joplin, moving out of Tulsa, uh, light to moderate snow, Wichita, some very light snow trying to get on, on the south side of the Kansas City Metro, and then light snow all the way down through north central Arkansas, and then we switch to rain 
from I-40 south, so from Little Rock south and then east toward Memphis. All right, here's 4 p.m. Friday. This is very light snow shower, so not really accumulating much, but light snow showers, Salina, Kansas City, Wichita, Joplin, Springfield, even over toward West Plains. As we get into Friday evening, just light snow showers and flurries. And then this storm system continues to weaken and pushes east as we go into Saturday morning. I still think most of Saturday, though, we're going to have clouds, periods of drizzle, periods of light showers and light snow showers, but not really accumulating. Really, any accumulating snow is going to be on Friday morning. So let's look at it. And, of course, uh, on a forecast, we have to fine-tune it. So as you get more information, as you get closer to an event, you get more information, so you fine-tune your forecast. So this is kind of what I'm looking at right now. Heaviest swath of snow, Dodge City, Wichita, through Forgan, Oklahoma, Guymon, Oklahoma, so the panhandle of Oklahoma, three to six inches of snow. In the light blue, mainly staying south of I-70, into southeastern Kansas, one to three inches. So southeastern Kansas, uh, Yates Center, Chanute, Iola, uh, Independence, even Parsons, probably right around an inch, but there could be some isolated heavier amounts. Once you get into northeastern Oklahoma, uh, let's say from Tulsa to Miami to Joplin to Springfield, a uh, dusting upwards to an inch. There, there could be an inch uh, all the way through northwestern Arkansas, over towards Springfield and even Kansas City. But uh, that's kind of a more uncertainty as in the white. So it could be just a dusting or it could be upwards to an inch. But again, not huge issues on the roadways. All right, so let's go look after this because this is when our stronger storm system moves in. Sunday looks okay. Let's go into Monday. This is when it gets interesting. This is a very strong storm system. We saw this in the second half of November uh, in the pattern. But this is going to be very tricky because we need to see where that rain snow line sets up. This is still five days out. That rain snow line could be Dodge City to Topeka to Kansas City, or it could be farther south like this latest model run is uh, kind of projecting closer to the Kansas-Oklahoma state line. So as we go into Monday afternoon, heavy rains, Oklahoma, Arkansas. But look where that rain snow line is, West Plains, Joplin. So we're going to have moderate to heavy snow where you get deeper into the blues here, Topeka, Wichita, Dodge City, even Kansas City getting into the action. As the colder air filters in, so you see that rain snow line works north as that warmer air pulls north to the I-70 corridor, and then that rain snow line works farther south as we get to the I-35 corridor and the I-44 corridor by Monday night. So we got to, it's hard to predict how much we could get with this system just because we don't know where that rain snow line is exactly going to set up as of yet. But everybody should go over to snow, you can see by Tuesday morning, and then snow most of Tuesday. Then as we get into Tuesday afternoon, snow central Missouri over toward uh, parts of St. Louis and Chicago and moving out, clearing out of Kansas and Oklahoma. All right, so don't take this as this is what's going to happen, but I want to kind of explain models to you. So we have about 12 different models that we look at. Models are uh, mathematical equations that you, it goes through an algorithm and it gives you an idea of what could happen. Now, some of them are outrageously wrong. Some of them are decently accurate, uh, but looking five days out, um, here's what one model, this is the GFS, the morning run is kind of predicting with that snow next Monday and Tuesday with six to 12 inches out across central Kansas, and then also a band from just north of Oklahoma City, just north of Tulsa, just north of Joplin through central Missouri. That could also be four, six, eight inches of snow. So again, this just gives you an idea, but this is gonna be a much stronger storm system that starts to affect us uh, as we had to head into early next week. So we got a ton to watch over the next six days. Kind of excites me a little bit. I like weather action. Of course, I'll be at KOAM News tonight, 5, 6, 9, and 10. I actually won't be in tomorrow or Thursday, or tomorrow's Thursday, Thursday or Friday. Chloe's going to be filling for me as I'm trying to get some of my cop time back. Uh, but, of course, I'll be doing YouTube videos as well. So, I'll be in at KOAM News tonight, of course. Uh, any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, we'll chat tomorrow. See what it looks like then.